Hey guys, welcome to your math today. Um, today we're going to be doing a no dog yoga flow. So no downward facing dogs. Um, it might be one at the end, but basically no vinyasas, no down dogs, none of that. We'll do a lot of standing poses, a lot of balancing. Um, really working into the legs and engaging the core just to get our balance and our sense of gravity right. Okay, so let's begin then in constructive rest. So you can just take the feet hip width distance apart and just let the knees face up towards the sky and just gently bringing the hands alongside the body, palms facing up. And then you might just check in with the back here, so maybe tucking the tailbone slightly to get the whole back onto the mat. You can even move the chin slightly towards the chest. I'm just beginning to close the eyes, noticing how the body is feeling. And just notice with the inhales and the exhales how your belly expands and collapses. Noticing the shoulders drop down onto the mat. And just noticing any tension in the face, just beginning to relax. Taking another full inhale here, fill up the lungs as much as you can. And exhale to just side out through the mouth. <sighs> Beginning to just let go of your day. Letting go of any expectations that you have for your practice. Letting go of any expectations that you have of yourself. And just trying to still the mind here. Finding your area of peace. And just tuning in with the breath. On your next inhale, slowly reaching the hands overhead, grabbing opposite elbows and gently just pulling the elbows down towards the mat. Keeping the inhales deep here and the exhales deep. And just feeling the expansion of the chest now with the hands overhead. Maybe you can inhale a little bit deeper. Guys, gently bringing the hands back onto the belly and slowly just beginning to open up the eyes. Just becoming aware of your surroundings again. Beautiful. And then slowly taking the legs up to a 90 degree angle. You can choose to either keep the hands alongside you or if the lower back is a bit tight, you can just move the hands underneath the bum. And then slowly just lowering the legs to a 45 degree. Inhale back to 90. Exhale to lower to 45. Inhale back to 90. So if the hamstrings are a little bit tight, you're more than welcome to keep a slight bend in the knees. Just keep the feet hovering off the mat. Engaging the core, moving slower than what you want to. And just doing three more here on your own time. So you exhale to come down. Inhale to lift the legs up. Keep the tailbone on the mat, engage the core. Beautiful guys, gently hugging the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a good squeeze and maybe rocking from side to side if that's okay for the spine. And then gently just moving the hands underneath the knees and just rocking up, making your way into a tabletop position. So just bringing the knees hip width distance apart, hands in line with the shoulders, move with some cat and cow, inhale, look up, exhale, round gaze towards navel, inhale, look up, exhale, round, just do a couple more here, yeah. beautiful guys, just warming up the spine here. Yeah. 
Beautiful, then coming to a neutral spine, extending that left leg behind you, engage the glute muscle. <laughs> Beautiful, and slowly with control, step that left foot in between the hands. Right knee stays down onto the mat. Inhale, hands reach up, low lunge. So you just want to push the hips forward here. Make sure that the knee stays in line with the ankle. And then hands back onto the mat. Take that left leg back up, back into your tabletop. And gently releasing down over towards the right side, extending right leg behind you. Again, stepping it in between the hands, gently lifting up into your low lunge right side. Coming back to the mat, take that right leg behind you, back to tabletop. Beautiful, guys. Moving through cats and car again. Inhale, look up. Exhale to round. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Just tucking the toes. You're going to walk the hands towards the knees as you come into your forward fold at the back of the mat. And exhale, fold. Just gently bending into the knees, grabbing opposite elbows and slowly swaying from side to side. Beautiful, guys. Releasing the hands. Inhale to roll all the way up. Hands tuck above the head. And exhale, fold. Slowly walking the hands forward, dropping knees towards the mat, coming back tabletop. Move through some cat and cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale to round. Beautiful. Bringing the big toes to touch. Now you're going to open the feet like a book. And then slowly walking the hands back, gently coming to sit back onto the heels as you open up the knees. Hands come to heart center. So just find your balance here. Beautiful, bringing the knees back towards one another and slowly lifting all the way up. Gently just stepping towards the front of your mat, taking hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bending into the knees, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, straighten out through the legs, forward fold. Inhale again, Utkatasana, bend into the knees. Exhale, fold. Last one, Utkatasana, bend into the knees, hands go up, gently hold it down. And exhale to fold. Slowly rolling all the way up, palms tuck above the head, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. So just closing the eyes here, noticing if the body is maybe rocking from back to forward. So if you feel that the body is rocking, just checking where you're facing that weight. So generally, we tend to face our weight more to one side than the other. Just lifting up the toes as much as we can, and then even placing the pinky toe down onto the mat. Slowly opening up the eyes. Inhale to lift hands overhead. Exhale, fold. Bending into the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Both hands up. Hands come to heart center. Slowly picking that left leg up and gently sending it back. Warrior three. Hold it here. Slowly stepping that left foot to meet the right. Inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, picking that right leg up, taking it back, warrior three, balancing on the, on the left leg. Slowly bringing both feet to meet. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful, bending into the knees, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Here comes at last, taking hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bending into the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, taking that left leg back, warrior three. Beautiful, slowly stepping that left foot behind you, coming into your crescent lunge, releasing the hands, inhale, hands go up. Stay strong here. You want to be straight into that back leg. Hands to heart center. Slowly kicking left foot up. Warrior three. Both feet to meet. Inhale. Utkatasana. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Right leg goes back. Warrior three. Slowly stepping behind you. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Stay strong. 
Hands to heart center, coming back, warrior three, right leg up. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. It's beautiful, bending into the knees, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Here comes up last, inhale, hands go up. Exhale to take hands behind you into an interlace and slowly just letting the hands fall back if you really do take a little back bend. Inhale brings you back up, releasing the hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bending into the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, take that left leg back, warrior three. Gently stepping back, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands go up. Slowly releasing that left knee down towards the mat, taking that right hand behind you to slide down, maybe grabbing the calf. Left hand stays up. Gently squaring off, inhale, low lunge. Hands come to heart center, slowly tucking the toes, lift the knee, crescent lunge. Kicking that left foot up, Back into warrior three. Both feet to meet. Inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center. Right leg goes back. Warrior three. Gently stepping back. Crescent lunge. Inhale, hands go up. Releasing that right knee to the mat. Left hand reaches behind you. Walk it down. Right hand goes up. Slowly coming back. Hands to heart center, tuck the toes, lift the knee, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Stepping forward, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Gently bending into the knees, again rolling up one vertebra at a time. Head comes up last, reaching the hands overhead, inhale. Exhale to reach hands behind you, gently taking a back bend. Inhale to come up. Exhale, release the hands. Hands to heart center. Inhale, hands touch down. Utkatasana. Hands to heart center. Left leg back. Warrior three. Slowly dropping back. Crescent lunge. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, let's turn out. Warrior two. Beautiful. Keep the gaze over the right middle finger. Slowly bringing hands to heart center, turning back into your crescent lunge. Gently with control, warrior three. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, right leg goes back. Slowly stepping behind you, crescent lunge, inhale. Turning up, warrior two, keeping gaze over left middle finger. Stay strong here, guys. Hands to heart center, turn back, crescent. Slowly kicking up, warrior three. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, bending into the knees, rolling up one vertebra at a time, head comes up last. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, hands behind you, dropping back, take a mini back bend. Inhale to come up, In, hands to heart center, bending into the knees, Utkatasana. Taking hands to heart center, left leg goes back, warrior three. Slowly stepping back, crescent lunge, inhale, hands go up. Exhale, warrior two again, stay strong, look over right middle finger. Exhale to reverse. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, placing the hand onto the mat. Or you can place the elbow onto the knee. Left hand at 12. Beautiful. Looking all the way up, warrior two. Hands to heart center. Turn back, crescent lunge. Slowly kicking up, warrior three. Both feet to meet. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Bend into knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, right leg goes back, warrior three. 
Slowly stepping behind you, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, warrior two. Exhale to reverse. Right hand down, left hand up. Inhale back to center. Placing that left hand onto the mat or elbow onto the knee. Right hand at 12. Inhale, lift up. Hands to heart center. Turn back, crescent lunge. Slowly kicking right leg up, warrior three. Both feet to meet. Inhale, Uttapasana. Exhale, fold. Okay, just separating the feet slightly here. You can choose either two peace fingers around the big toe or sliding the whole hand underneath the foot. If you want, you can even micro bend the knees a little bit. Take elbows out to the side, drop the forehead down. Just taking a couple breaths here. If your hand is underneath the foot, just make sure that the toes can touch the wrist. Beautiful, wherever you are, slowly releasing, just heel toe in the feet so that they touch again. Bending into the knees, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Here comes the blast. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, guys, you're almost there. Gently bending into the knees. Inhale, Uttapasana. Hands to heart center, taking left leg behind you, warrior three. Slowly stepping it back, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands go up. Slowly releasing that left knee down to the mat, low lunge. Again, reaching back with that right hand, walk it down. Left hand goes up. Beautiful, now bringing that left hand on the inside of the right foot, pushing that knee over towards that right side, take the gaze towards the back. Slowly coming back to center, inhale to your low lunge, hands go up. Bringing hands to heart center, tuck the toes, lift the knee, crescent lunge. Beautiful, slowly kicking that left leg up, warrior three. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkapasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale again, Utkapasana. Hands to heart center, right leg goes back, warrior three. Slowly stepping behind you, crescent lunge, inhale. Releasing that right knee down towards the mat, reaching back with the left hand, slowly twisting. Beautiful, coming back, low lunge. Bringing that right hand onto the mat, pushing that left knee over towards the left side, gaze towards back. Coming back to center, inhale, low lunge. Hands to heart center, tuck the toes, lift in the knee, crescent lunge. Slowly coming back, warrior three. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, guys. Almost there, slowly bending into the knees, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Here comes the blast. Gently reaching back with the hands into an interlace again. Drop the head back. Inhale, come up, release the hands above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend into the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, left leg back, warrior three. Let's do last round. Slowly stepping back, crescent lunge, inhale. Beautiful guys, hold ya. Let's take easy twists, placing that left hand onto the mat, right hand reaches up. Beautiful, slowly lifting up, twist your crescent. And drop right hand behind you, left hand goes up. Slowly squaring off crescent lunge. Hands to heart center. Gently kicking up, warrior three. Both feet to meet, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Bend into knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, right leg goes back, warrior three. Slowly stepping behind you, crescent lunge, inhale. Beautiful, easy twist, place right hand onto the mat, left hand up. Slowly coming all the way up, drop that left hand behind you, right hand goes up now, twist and crescent. Gently squaring off, hands to heart center. 
kicking that right leg up, warrior three. Oops. <laughs> Both feet to meet. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, guys. Bending into the knees and just grabbing opposite elbows again and slowly just swaying from side to side. Releasing any tension in the lower back. Really get the belly to meet the thighs. And gently coming to stillness, rolling up one vertebra at a time, head comes up light, inhale, hands go up. Exhale to reach behind you into an interlace, let's take one last back bend. Inhale, come forward, keep that interlace, exhale, fold. Release the hands, inhale, Utkatasana. And then slowly just heel toe in the feet as wide as your mat. And gently come into Malasana. Bring in the elbows on the inside of the knees. Moving the tailbone down towards the mat. If your heels can't touch the mat, that's fine. Maybe take them a little bit wider. Or if you want, you can roll up your mat just to add some support underneath the feet. Beautiful, guys. Gently with control, coming to a sitting position. Taking the two-piece fingers around the big toes. And now I'm just working on getting the knees in towards the armpits. If this is too much for you, you're going to stay here. Otherwise, see if you can straighten the legs while holding the toes. Engage the core. And again, we're going to, wherever you are, we're holding for five breaths. If your legs are straight, keep the gaze at the big toes. Beautiful, guys. Slowly, if your legs are straight, just separating the legs, pushing the chest forward. Beautiful. Slowly releasing, bringing the knees on towards the mat, taking the hands behind you and just dropping the knees over toward, for, towards one side. Followed by the other. And just windshielding the legs here a couple of times. Beautiful, guys. Gently rolling back onto your back. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest. Extending that left leg out. And then slowly pulling that right knee over towards the left side. Taking the gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale brings you back to center. And then gently just releasing that left hand onto the left hip. Pulling the right knee over towards right side. Beautiful, coming back to center, let's change sides, hugging left knee in towards the chest. And on the next exhale, pulling the knee over towards right side. And gently back to center, placing that right hand onto right hip. Gently pulling that left knee over towards left side. And slowly coming back to center, just rocking up into a seated position. And then just making your way back onto your knees. Gently just extending that right leg in front of you. Setting up for your pigeon pose. So just depending on the hips will depend on how the foot is placed. So if your hips are more open, your foot will be more parallel with the mat. Otherwise, if not, the foot is more closer towards you. Okay, take the hands behind you. Inhale to keep the gaze up. And exhale to walk hands forward, gently come into a reclining pigeon. Slowly lifting yourself all the way up. And gently just dropping onto that right hip, you're going to swing that left leg forward. 
as you set up for Janu A. So gently just moving that right foot on the inside of the left leg. And then when you're ready, exhale to take a forward fold over the left leg. Beautiful, guys. Inhale to come up. Bending into that left knee now. Swinging that right leg behind you as you set up for pigeon onto the other side. Find your alignment. And once you're there, extending the hands back. Inhale to look up. And exhale to walk hands forward. Gently coming all the way down towards the mat. Slowly lifting up, gently dropping onto that left hip, swinging that right leg forward, moving the left foot onto the inner thigh, and exhale, take a fold over right leg. Gently lifting yourself all the way up. Let's take double pigeon here. So you're just going to place the left foot in front of you. And then taking that right foot on top of the right knee. And then right knee on top of left foot. So if you look down, it should look like a triangle. Otherwise, if your knee is sitting up here, that's fine. It's just tightness into the hip. So just work on pushing that knee down. Eventually, it will get down. If this is enough for you while you're sitting like this, that's perfectly fine. Just hold your for five breaths. If you want more, you can gently just walk the hands forward. Drop the forehead down until you feel that stretch. And just beginning to settle into the pose. And then slowly coming all the way up. Gently just moving that left foot over towards the right side. Placing that right foot onto the mat. And then gently just hugging that right knee, twisting over towards the right side. You can stay like this or you can take the elbow past as you twist a little bit deeper. Beautiful, bringing the gaze forward. You're just going to place the hands onto the left side, lifting up the hips and just walking, walking, walking over, over until you come with the left knee on top of the right. And then again, you're hugging that left knee over towards the left side. Maybe if you want, you can take the elbow pass. Beautiful, guys, slowly releasing. Placing that left foot now on top of the right knee, left knee on top of right foot. Again, maybe the knee is chilling up here and that's enough. Just work on pushing it down. Otherwise, if this is more than enough for you, more than welcome to stay here. Otherwise, walking the hands forward, dropping forehead down again. Beautiful, guys. Slowly lifting all the way up, releasing the feet. And just taking them as wide as your mat again, hands behind you, and just windshielding the legs back and forth. And then when you're ready, coming to lie down onto your mat, hugging knees in towards the chest, taking happy baby here, so just holding the outside edges of the feet, working the knees in towards the armpits. Keep that tailbone firmly onto the mat, and if you'd like, you can rock from side to side. Beautiful, guys. In your own time, when you're ready, slowly releasing out to your Shavasana. Extending the legs, placing the hands either on the belly or just alongside you, closing the eyes. And just noticing how the body is feeling now after your practice. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more energized, the mind a little bit more clearer. Just honoring the space wherever you are. Taking this time for yourself. And just taking this time for your body to just come to complete relaxation. Taking a full inhale here through the nose and as you exhale, just feeling the weight of the body drop down into the mat. Feeling the shoulders soften down. Just 
feeling any tension in the body, just begin to relax. Remembering to always come back to your breath. Always remembering to take time to honor yourself and your body. You can choose to stay here a little while. Otherwise, if you're ready to come out on your next inhale, reaching the hands overhead, stretching out through the fingers and through the toes. And as you exhale, just bring your knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a good squeeze. And then keeping the eyes closed, just gently making your way out to a seated position, sitting in any way that feels more comfortable for you. And then gently just bring your hands to heart center. Taking a full inhale here through the nose. And exhale out through mouth. I thank you, I honor you, and I respect you. Namaste. Thank you guys for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have